Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into a full strategy game plan for beginners in trading and GoPro stock and the way that we can trade it since we're seeing some bullish momentum in the stock and it's heading into earnings and there's some fundamental things that they announced recently. And I'm going to get into an in-depth analysis of how we can potentially trade the stock to gain the highest amount of profitability with the lowest amount of risk so you guys really want to watch until the end of the video. And go ahead and like the video guys and leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know that you really enjoy the video because this is how we can establish more of these game trade planning videos in the near future and I know that you guys really enjoy the content. So now let's get into GoPro fundamentally, something they announced recently. And we see that GoPro had a recent press release where the company said that demand on its website is up 500% year over year since last April. The company is also releasing more accessories these days, like the new Zeus Mini Light, which can help grow revenue. And we also see GoPro Plus subscriptions rising, which is also providing a recurring revenue stream for the company. So these are some good things that I like to highlight in GoPro. We're also seeing that GoPro is not really highlighting some of the negatives that we're seeing in their revenue as well we're seeing that the company did say its demand is up 500 percent but again this is only focused on its online direct to consumer business and this isn't going to be enough to offset the overall drop in sales that we've been seeing potentially from the coronavirus it's expecting to report sell-throughs of their units of around 600 to 650,000 units in the current quarter which is less than the previous quarter and it's kind of related to their second quarter earnings in 2019 and in that quarter they reported a 90 percent growth in unit sell-throughs for their cameras of over 300 dollars so i see that gopro is establishing nice revenue growth and we're seeing that they're providing new accessories and that's bullish for gopro but we also have to note that their current sales for this earnings are probably going to be lower and their revenue is also going to be lower as well so that's one key thing to look at and that's how we open this kind of curtain to see what the company is really doing in their stock and fundamentally now let's get into the technical analysis of gopro's chart and what I'm seeing and kind of a game plan to strategize heading over the next week where we can risk less and protect our portfolio and gain the highest amount of profits. Now getting into the chart of GoPro, I want to establish a strategy, a risk mitigation of your portfolio and the key areas that I'm looking at on the chart. And remember guys, I'm not a financial advisor, but this is kind of how I like to look at trades and how we can potentially get the most gain for our risk. So now let's get into the stock chart. And what we're seeing over here on GoPro's chart guys is that we did break down from this level over here at around 2019. And we've been trending under this 20 and 50 exponential daily moving average ever since and clearly we are right now in an uptrend we've been getting supported several times by this 20 and 50 exponential moving average and we did develop this bullish ascending triangle formation that we're currently breaking out of i would have liked to see this chart on this day over here where we did see a lot of bullish volume which is something you guys should look at comparable to the previous trading days and we did see more bullish pressure pop over the last few days now this trade is still in progress and I do think there's more upside because we did see we had wicks in this region and we're establishing a higher trading range as well. Now currently what I am looking at is I am leaning more bullish on this trade and the key area on this chart would be a close under this level where the trade would get invalidated. But now I want to get into the risk of your portfolio and how we can develop this trade, right? Well, looking at this trade right now, guys, we do see that from the area that it's currently trading at, we can risk around 12% of our portfolio. And 12% is a huge portion of our portfolio. So what can we do to mitigate our risk and increase our return on this investment? And what I'm saying is true for any size account, even if it's $500, $100, or even $100,000, right? We have to look at our $1,000 account and say, look, if I want to take this trade on, I can cut half of this 12% risk in my portfolio by lowering the size of my trade to around $500. And what will that do for you guys? Well, once we trade with $500 in our account, which is half of our account, we can risk around 6% of our portfolio instead of this 12% that we're seeing on this chart. The stop loss parameters would still be the same around this $4.66 region, but this is still 12% of the price of GoPro, but we're really only risking 6% of our portfolio, which would be $60 on an $1,000 account if we're trading with only half of our account. This is how institutional investors even on Wall Street, trade, right? They mitigate their risk by trading with smaller portion sizes that can net them more gains in their portfolio, but they also take higher risk trades because they understand that one trade will not break them. What we do see so many times from beginner investors is they throw all their money in one stock and over the next few days, it falls 30, 40% and they don't even put stop losses. But you as a beginner or even as an intermediate investor can take this one key tip that I use and so many other traders do use to be successful in the trading game. We have to understand that this does mitigate our risk, but it also cuts our potential profits in half. The reason that I'm saying that is again, we're risking 6% of our portfolio by lowering our trading size. And if we do close under this region, guys, I'll be more bearish and this trade is kind of invalidated. But if we do continue higher, I do think there's a possibility to gain around 30% of our trade in this stock 
because of something I'm going to show you guys later in the video on the weekly chart. And remember, this 30% gain, guys, would be cut to around 15% based off of what we're risking. So that's almost a 2.5 to 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio when looking at the chart. Now, again, these are kind of the probability trades that we like, where we see a bullish trend developing because of this ascending triangle formation and this new trading range we're establishing. And we're also lowering the risk, guys. So these are the key areas I'm looking at currently on the daily chart. And one other thing that I want to point out here is that this arrow over here is a flagpole extrapolation from this continuation of the trend that we saw because this was kind of a bullish flag pattern developing. Again, an ascending triangle formation that you guys see here where we saw upwards pressure in this area and we eventually broke out. Well, if we take this flagpole extrapolation, because we know that markets like to move symmetrically, we can't put it to the bottom of this triangle over here that we also are breaking out of. And we can't see a symmetrical move to around the $6.32 mark. And that might seem like a smaller gain from the $7 mark that I had told you guys earlier, but we also have to take that into consideration because these are several confluence levels that we can see in GoPro's chart as well and use symmetrical moves that the market presents us to predict the price range. Now, we're going to get into the weekly chart and I'm going to show you guys the training ranges that I'm seeing there and where I think it could potentially trend in the near future. Now, looking at the weekly chart, guys, from 2017, we have been breaking down and been getting heavily rejected by this 20 exponential weekly moving average. And we've kept on testing higher back into this 50 exponential weekly moving average as well that we know likes to act as a huge level of resistance. And we see that in this trading range, when GoPro establishes a price of around $5 to around $7, it really doesn't have much sideways action, right? We're seeing that GoPro capitulated all the way down to this level, trended higher, capitulated again down to this region, but broke back up and trended higher. And we capitulated again and ultimately had the $2 capitulation to this area. Well, if we do break in this region and we see that clearly there's not much rejection on the weekly chart, I think we can trend back to the $6.50 region that's next to the 200 simple weekly moving average that we do know likes to act as a huge level of resistance when stocks are uptrending. And again, this area, along with this green box that I'd labeled out for you guys on the weekly chart, are the areas that I'd be looking at to take profit in the upcoming few weeks slash future when looking at GoPro's chart, right? Now, that doesn't mean I can't take profit earlier, and I'm going to get to that in a bit. But as I said, look, right, the reason that I drew this box on this level, guys, is because we are trending several times in this region and getting rejected by the highs at around the $7 mark. And this has been a huge level of resistance since 2018. So that's the key level that I'm looking at on the chart of GoPro, guys. And what we can see here is that if we do close into this region, guys, I am going to be more bearish on GoPro, and I do think we can trend lower. But if we keep on trending higher and we do have a nice weekly close in this region on GoPro's chart, guys, I do think a possibility of a higher pressing GoPro is likely. Now, one thing I want to note is if we do trend in this region, guys, I want to stress the importance of always putting a trailing stop loss. You always want to put a trailing stop loss because let's say a trade gets overextended into the 30% region, but you still have the same stop loss that you had previously. The trade can get validated and investors can take profit and that would hit your original stop loss, which means you lost all the potential gains you could have made and you still had the risk that you took on when you first opened the trade. Well, if you're already in a winning trade, guys, it's important to put a trailing stop loss anywhere from 10 to 20%, whatever you guys feel comfortable with, if you guys still think the trade can go higher. But I want to note that if we start seeing a trend into this $5.70 region, it is smart to put your stop loss at break even because again, if we do see investors taking profit in this region, why would you want to risk a potential breakdown in the chart of GoPro when you've already had gains in your trade, right? That wouldn't make sense. So always raise your stop loss region when we do see the stock trend higher. So now overall, we do see we are trading above this 20 and 50 exponential moving average. And again, I want to stress this, right? If you're looking to get into this trade heading into tomorrow, what we do want to see is a bullish weekly close, which would be this candle over here in this trading range where we haven't really established price action over these last few years, right? So if we do close in this area, guys, on the weekly chart, I am going to be more bullish on GoPro stock, but I've also identified for you guys the regions where we can put our stop losses and how we can take profits on this chart. And one key thing that I want to point for you guys is no trade is 100%, right? We can see the stock downtrend heading over the next few days and even the next week, but this is what I like to look at and how you as a beginner can learn to trade better on stock charts and mitigate your risk with the most potential reward. And this is the most important lesson, guys, if you learned anything from this video, is that risk mitigation is key when being a successful trader because we always know that stocks do trend randomly sometimes and from key events that happen in the broader markets, like we saw with the coronavirus pandemic, where several stocks did crash. Technical analysis clears things up and it's a tool for us to use to be more successful as traders in the market. So guys, let me know if you really enjoyed this video in the comment section. Please leave a like. It really encourages me and shows me that you guys really enjoy these types of videos. And please share the video so we can help others and grow together. Also, if you'd like to join our Discord chat where we do talk about some potential trades and just what's going on in the stock market, check the links in the description below. 
And you can also get three free stocks when you sign up for Weeble and Robinhood by using those links as well. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.